Hey, it's me, and my life is changing. Usually I only try to upload the highest quality and caliber of content for long forms, but uh, today we have to have a chat. I'll get to the bad news soon, but basically it just has to do with the fact that I want more out of YouTube than I'm currently giving. But two things have happened recently that have gotten me thinking about legacy. First up was Matt Pat retiring, one of the greatest YouTubers of all time, and he's been one of my favorites for the past nine years. I've watched every single upload, and this channel, most of its DNA is built off of the game theorists. The editing style, the announcing voice, all of that. If it wasn't for Matt Pat, I would not be here today. And second, something kind of amazing happened to me recently. This little guy, right here. Don't worry, this isn't a shameless plug for my U2s, although Dano and Riggy, U2s available now, U2s.com, go buy a hundred, go buy a thousand. But this really got me thinking about the impact that I'm leaving on YouTube and the internet as a whole and it made me realize that I want to do more. I want to be more than a shorts YouTuber. I don't know if you picked up on this or not, but most shorts YouTubers never really wanted to be shorts YouTubers. In fact, when we were growing up watching YouTube, dreaming of being YouTubers, there was no such thing as shorts. Most of us just took advantage of it because it was a way to start our dream job. And nearly all of us had the mindset of, well, maybe one day I'll be able to jump over and start doing long form content. And that's really what I've wanted to do for a while now, but I just don't have the time because I've been uploading daily shorts for the past two years. Getting a YouTube is something I didn't expect for years down the road because in my mind, I still don't see myself as a real YouTuber. But some of my favorite content creators, Jay Schlatt, Dan TDM, even Mr. Beast have all gotten U2s because, you know, they reached a level of fame and recognition that so many of their fans asked U2s over and over again and said, please, hey, let's see our favorite creator in, in vinyl form. And so having this happen to me made me realize that I'm actually a real YouTuber now. But again, still doesn't feel like it. What I want more than anything is to work on long form videos and tune to turf and give my full effort into it, but I can't because every single day I have to upload a short. So what is there to do? Well, the easy option, stop uploading daily shorts, but I can't do that because I don't want to disappoint you guys. Uploading daily shorts are what you've come to expect from me, and I don't want to betray that. So, big announcement, I'm hiring editors. <laughs> now I hear you going to the comments. Dano, what are you talking about? This is great news because now you can pump out shorts and work on long form as much as you want. And yes, that's hopefully the end goal, but the way that I edit is very specific, and I want to make sure that when I transition over to my editors, hopefully going full time, making every single, nearly every single short, that none of you guys see a difference at all. Now don't worry, I'll still be narrating all of them, I'll still be writing all of them, but it just won't be me editing, which is the hardest part. This means that I'll be able to commit more time to Toon Turf, which... Yeah, that's that's the bad news. Toon Turf is officially, as of today, getting delayed. Till when? I'm not sure. But because of how much time I'm gonna have to spend training these people and making sure that they can copy my style to a T, I just don't want to rush episode one out. I want to make sure it's perfect because it has to be kind of perfect to set up an entire series. I get one shot to make a first impression with this show, and I want to make sure that I don't waste it. However, the positive of delaying it also means that I get to do other things like dub it in a bunch of different languages to give it the best chance it can possibly have, and it also means that I can just make episodes episode one perfect in every single way and satisfying to me personally. But yeah, when I die, I don't want my legacy that I leave behind to just be shorts content because I feel like you guys aren't gonna, you know, go scroll through a bunch of them and say, oh, remember those good times when Dano was screaming in my ear about how McDonald's was stolen? <laughs> I wanna make truly entertaining stuff. And that's what I've heard from you guys, that the long forms that I make are are some of, you know, your favorite content from me. So that's what I wanna commit more time to. So yeah, this figure represents a major change in my life right now because it made me realize that you guys actually really appreciate appreciate me and what I do. But it also made me realize that I'm not giving you nearly as much as I could. I'll still be streaming every Saturday and there will still be daily shorts, but hopefully within the next, I don't know, a couple of weeks or a month, the shorts will switch over to being edited entirely by my editors. Or editor, I'm hiring one or two, I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, the beginning of 2024 is gonna be a really rough transitional period of my life and I'm really sorry that I had to delay Toon Turf. Believe me, this is like when you have a favorite show and you just desperately wanna show your friends and family because you love the show so much and you wanna see how they'll react to it. That's Toon Turf for me because I really love what I've been working on and I'm just dying to get all of you to see it. But I just wanna make sure it's perfect before I share it. So anyway, thank you for sticking with me, thank you for supporting me, thank you for being there with me in the new year year and um, I hope that uh, I hope that I can be better for all of you. I just feel like I can do more and so I'm gonna try to do more and I appreciate you for coming on the journey with me. That's all. Anyway, I really don't have a way to outro this video so um, Dan O'Kell you twos, go buy it! Look, it's me and Riggy it's beautiful, I have massive hands so it's making the figure look a lot smaller than it actually is but it's it's fantastic. Yeah, I j I'm just now realizing how disgustingly long my fingers are. Anyway, go buy a hundred, go buy a million. Uh, editors cost a lot of money and shorts don't make a lot of money. <laughs> that was a joke, I'm doing fine financially for now. But yeah, go buy a U2s. They're gone in a month. I'll have another video this month promoting them, but uh, yeah. Anyway, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being here, and um, I hope you're excited to see what I have in store. Happy 2023, every 2024, everybody. It's gonna be a great...
great year. Oh my gosh, I'll remember the year eventually. 